Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Kung tama ba yung lighting, kung tama ba yung framing. Tignan natin. Alright everyone, this is me, this is B, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And for today's video, what we're going to talk about ay ilan sa mga ginagawa ko kapag nag apply ako sa onlinejobs.ph. If you haven't seen my video on how to use the platform, I'm just going to place the link sa description box para makita ninyo kung paano mag-apply. Well, fortunately, very straightforward naman ang approach kay onlinejobs.ph. Hindi mo naman kailangan na masyadong aralin yung kanilang platform dahil napakadali lang naman ito. But today, marami kasi ang nag-ask sa akin, paano ba ako magsisend ng email? What type of emails? What type of messages will work best para mapansin ako ng aking employer? So yon. Okay, disclaimer lang ha everyone. Hindi ako professional, I would say. Hindi ako a business person. I'm not even an employer. But the technique that I used worked for the longest time, okay? Modesty aside, alam naman natin yung environment or alam naman natin yung kalakaran sa online. Sometimes, since some of them are small players, biglang nawawala yung job. As a mom, I cannot afford to lose a job ng ilang buwan kasi nga meron tayong mga responsibilities. Every time nawawala yung opportunity natin, nag-apply agad tayo right then and there. And... Again, modesty aside, wala pang 2 weeks, less than 2 weeks, nakakanap agad tayo ng replacement. So what I'm trying to say that possibly yung ginagawa natin na tactics when applying, it works. Okay? So, so for example, may nakita kang mga job openings, right? Hindi lahat yun pwede mong applyan. From what I know, ang onlinejobs.ph will allow you to apply for 10 jobs per day. So you might as well maximize it. Try to see which one fits your... Um, skills. Hindi lahat apply, apply, apply. At saka kasi, kapag nag apply kasi hindi ka naman fit, alam ko, nakikita rin yun ng onlinejobs.ph and baka maapektohan yung ating ID proof. So, I suggest don't do that. Huwag tayong parang strike anywhere. Okay, aralin natin. Okay, parang bagay sa akin tong job description na to. Okay, open the tab. The next one, you do the same. You know, uh, at least 10. Tapos, hindi ibig sabihin na yung title ng job ay perfect for you, mag apply ka kaagad, and will just paste your template ng cover letter. No, you don't do that. You know why? Because there are companies na may mga strict instructions when applying. Ito yung way nila para makapag-filter agad sila ng applicants if the applicant knows how to follow instructions. So, minsan may may kita kayo, if you are interested in this position, please add this, I don't know, word in your subject line or in the body of your email. So, dapat cautious tayo at laging nagbabasa. Later, I will show you something like that na hindi naman kailangan na cover letter yung submit. Minsan, may mga employers na questions agad yung ibibigay sa atin and then we just have to answer it. Yun, kailangan, basahin mo na yung requirements, follow the instructions, and kapag wala namang mga ganito, pwede na natin gamitin ang ating cover letter. I know there's a formula for the cover letter, yung tinuro sa atin sa college or yung nakikita natin in most applications. But what I did is quite different. Although nandun pa rin naman yung mga principles or yung mga, I would say, important details. What I had in mind was that ang daming applicants per day, like 100, 200. So you needed something that will make you stand out. Subject line pa lang, kailangan pag-iisipan mo na what will make your employer interested to open that email? Having said that, in my case, for example, I've been writing for 10 years, right? So, I'm going to use that as a leverage and will include that in my subject line. So, ang malimit kong ginagamit kapag ang apply ko ay content writer, I'm adding this or I'm putting this. Content writer for 10 years. So, may kita agad ng employer, ah, okay, isang dekada na ito nagsusulat. Maybe she is the perfect person for that possession. Okay, hindi pa nabubuksan ang email, ang body ng email, na capture na agad natin yung kanyang interest. So, for example, you're a graphic designer. You can say graphic designer for five years or graphic designer for multinational companies. You can say that. Now, for ac accountants, yung mga ganon, or programmers, highlight your strengths. You've been an accountant for multinational companies. You've been doing bookkeeping for large companies. You have to think a specific headline that will make you stand out. 
kasi hindi naman yung body ng email ang makikita agad nila. Hindi rin yung resume ang makikita mo agad. Alright. Later, papakita ko sa inyo yung aking sinisend sa employers whenever I apply. Very short, hindi siya like tatlong paragraphs and all. I always want to highlight my strengths kasi yun ang una lang titignan eh. So as a content writer, I always include the links. At least three or five pag online writer. So ano yung mga nagawa mo? Instead of me waiting for them to ask me that, I would already include the links. Mas mabilis yung application process natin. Same with the graphic designers. I always suggest my friends na nasa graphic industry na gumawa ng website. Ang dami namang free websites like Wix. Diba? Put your portfolio there. Okay? Let them see your works. Kahit hindi pa nila ina-ask. Kasi from there, they could already shortlist you. And in fact, gusto rin naman nila agad makapag-hire. So, titignan nila sino yung efficient, sino yung mabilis kumilos, sino yung ready na lahat ng kailangan nila, syempre yun yung ipaprioritize nila, right? Now, for example, andun kayo sa mga programming or andun tayo sa mga accounting jobs or yung mga kung ano-ano na hindi siya creative, you can always share case studies, okay? Ano yung ginawa mo sa company, paano ka nakatulong, ano yung mga solutions na provide mo, and from there, always include a link, okay? Uh, ako talaga, I suggest that you use Dropbox, you use your G Drive or your Google Drive, dun mo ilagay yung mga ginawa mo kasi more often than not, hindi na nila na yung mga attachment eh. Talagang links yung tinitignan nila. So I suggest that you do the same. So maybe that's it. I'm just going to give you samples right now kung paano ako nagagawa ng emails and hopefully may matutunan kayo after watching this video. Alright, so this is our first sample. Ito yung ako ang unang nag-send ng email sa ating employer. So instead of your traditional or usual cover letter, my approach was straightforward. So, sinabi ko, I saw your post and I genuinely believe I'm the perfect candidate for the position. I don't want to waste your time. So, I just decided to quickly run through my professional experience. Ayan. Magandang technique ito para makita agad nila kung ano yung strengths mo as an employee. So, inuna ko yung isa kong program manager before, followed by my links as an online writer, and then yung aking VA experience. At least, hindi na nila kailangan tignan pa kung, or basahin yung buong letter. Kita na agad nila kung, okay, is this a perfect candidate? So, that's a good approach, okay? Now, will the uh, traditional cover letter work? I think yes. May mga nag ask pa rin naman ng cover letter. But in my case, this thing works, okay? Alright, so this is another sample. Kanina na-mention ko yata, no? May mga ibang employers na may specific instruction before you can apply. So, hindi cover letter yung nire-require nila, but there are questions or there are trick uh, instructions para i-follow nyo. Tinitingnan nila if you know how to follow the instructions. So, for this one, may mga questions siya like, why did you apply for the position? Sagot ka ng diretsyo, okay? Walang paligoy-ligoy. Tapos, meron din yung, how many years have you been a content writer? Lagay ka ulit dyan, diretsyo ulit. Please provide examples or links of your current work. Okay ka? That is why I am highlighting the importance of having links for your work, either graphics yan, or case studies, or content writing, dapat meron silang ready na makikita, okay? Para mas mabilis ang application process. You can see here, number four, please include content writer as your subject line when applying. Ayan, okay? Yan yung mga specific instructions. Kaya dapat binabasa natin yung buong job description. Okay? Kasi minsan meron doon mga nakasingit na kailangan natin gawin. So, there. So if you guys need help, for example, to construct an email, I'm not saying a professional, but at least we can work together para mas ma-beef up natin yung responses natin sa ating mga employers. Please let me know kung kamusta na yung application process natin. Alam ko may mga problems pa rin ngayon sa online jobs sa PH na mababa yung ID proof. And I am hoping na matapos na siya. But yes, uh, if I could help you in whatever ways that I could, then I am all willing to do that for you. So there you go. Sana, sana talaga may natutunan kayo. But if you think you might need help in creating your email, you can just send an email to me and we can work on your template together. Alright? So bye for now and let me know what happens with your applications. Bye!